Hello friends, Adam here with FED. Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. It comes out soon, and of course I'm going to talk about it because that's my thing. Uh, so in Three Hopes, everything seems to be a bit off from the story of Three Houses. And it's pretty obvious, you know, we see Byleth uh, in the trailer being kind of sketchy. Um, and known as the Ashen Demon, which is a name that they were already known as by their like mercenary compadres. Is that, that's my understanding, at least. Um, but it wasn't like a well-known thing throughout the world that you know they were the Ashen Demon. So I wonder if it's going to be a more well-known thing. Maybe Bioth becomes a well-known mercenary. But there's some things that uh, in the trailer that I, I, I noticed as rewatching it, and I really listened to the lines and tried to think about who they were talking to, who they were talking about. And I think there's some interesting things you can glean from this most recent trailer. So first, I think it's interesting to bring up uh, Byleth and the Ashen Demon moniker. And that that's like an actual, like, mythological thing. Uh, so I found this on, it was a post on Reddit uh, that talked about it. And they had some, like, cool sources and stuff. But essentially, Byleth is like a... Like in in our mythology, like a king who can be summoned that has over eighty five legions of demons or something, and they're pretty much like always angry when summoned, and they must be commanded with courtesy and without fear, uh, and can be soothed with a bottle of wine. So I think that's kind of an interesting thing. Like maybe whoever got to Byleth um, in this timeline wasn't so courteous and kind. Uh, as uh, the officers, or the people at the officers' academy uh, had been, so maybe Byleth kind of went the other direction. We'll talk more about that in a minute. So there are uh, three speaking lines that I think are relatively important, spoken by the three house lords. Right. So Claude says, "The world cries for change, while you keep it shackled to the past," and that could be that could be spoken to any number of people. Uh, you could, I could see him saying that to Rhea, obviously, uh, Byleth in this context, maybe, or, or even Dimitri, based on Dimitri's actions in Crimson Flower as a kind of defaulting to defending the church. Uh, Dimitri uh, says, uh, we, can, we can finally avenge those who have fallen. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty standard Dimitri stuff, right? I, I don't know. He's probably talking at someone in this, uh, in, in this instance, you know, maybe like talking at an evil person from, uh, from those who slither in the dark or evil Byleth or something. Uh, there's not much to glean there. Finally, Edelgard says, you were the cog that was missing from the turn wheel. The one final push that urged me to act. And th this is obviously talking to Shez in, uh, in the context of three hopes, if this were three houses, she would obviously be talking to Byleth. Uh, but I, f I think it's pretty obvious here that she's talking to Shez for a few other reasons, again, that we'll talk about later, uh, that I don't think she really interacted with Byleth uh, throughout the course of her time at the Academy. And I, again, we'll talk about it more, but I think it's pretty blatant that that's the case. <clears throat> uh, and so based on all these, I think it's interesting to, to note that Shez is going to fill the role of Byleth for their character arcs in, in this game. And maybe we'll even do it better because he's he's there or she's there during a more formative time for them in the five-year time skip. A lot of crap goes down that five-year time skip. And if Byleth had been there in the Three Houses story, then it might have, uh, might have gone differently. Maybe Dimitri could have been helped uh, a little more with his struggles. Maybe Edelgard could have been convinced to go against Twisted. Who knows? There's a whole a whole lot of things there. All right, uh, and so this is obviously a different timeline to me. Obviously, a different timeline. Three Hopes is not going to be is not going to be tied to the Three Houses continuity really at all. I think the only thing tying it to it are going to be basic events and you know all the characters that are there. But there are a few things that I think kind of push me to th that, that that kind of pushed me in the direction of this is like some there's like one big thing that happened to change everything um and th those inconsistencies those things that are different are like monica appears in the trailer uh we don't know if that's actual monica or if that's cronia in disguise either way i'm pretty sure monica is supposed to be dead <laughs> in uh, the original timeline and then also if we're in the middle of the five-year gap the five-year time skip uh, Cronia would be dead anyways if three houses had happened, right? So, uh, the, there's both Monica 
pe people who could have been Monica are gone. So I don't think... So that's one thing that, like, Violet probably never went to the Academy. Uh, is a thought for, from that. Also, Byleth doesn't have the light green hair. Uh, so did Byleth never fuse with Th Sothis, meaning she never fought Solon in the forest and got trapped in some other dimension. Uh, that All that never happened, I guess. So that's a, that's a whole thing. And I guess those would kind of be tied together, meaning that Crony could still be alive if that, uh, that event never happened. Or again, the, the, it could be the real Monica. Who knows? But I'm pretty sure it's implied that she's dead. So... Yeah. Uh, so really, everything that... I, I still think Byleth is going to be the central figure that drives the plot of Three Hopes in that their actions or what happened to them is going to affect everybody on a very grand scale. And you see that in Three Houses where the house that Byleth chooses ends up affecting the story entirely differently uh, for the characters and also the events of Fodlin. So I think there is like another path that Byleth could have taken or something, or a different one that's not in Three Houses that we are going to see in Three Hopes. And I think that uh, with my theory, I have a theory on this. I guess I have more than one theory, but the one I like the most, the one I'm going to share here, is that Byleth never went to the office, Officer's Academy and never became a teacher there. So that could go in many different directions right away. And this is, I don't know why he didn't go. Uh, I, I maybe just assume that he never met Edelgard, Byleth, and Dimitri in the forest uh, when they were attacked by brigands or anything like that. And that just, it, it, I think the brigands never came to their town or whatever. So, yeah, that is probably my number one uh, thing. He just never ran into them or she never ran into them and maybe was recruited by, I like to think Twisted, maybe recruited Byleth as a mercenary. Maybe not even knowing the, what was special about this Ashen Demon, right? About this uh, this very powerful mercenary. And I think there's also a good chance that Byleth doesn't know... that like, They don't know that they have a goddess living inside of them, right? Because think about the events that lead to Byleth actually discovering that this happened. When Byleth wakes up at the beginning of the game, Gerald's like, oh... That dream again? How you having dreams again about that weird that weird chick? You know, oh, and you saw like some war or whatever. Like, oh yeah, whatever. It's just a dream. And it's not until Byleth steps in front of Edelgard and takes an axe to the back for her that you know divine pulse activates, time stops, and he has a conversation with Sothis, and it becomes a more tangible, real thing for him or her. And I think without that moment, there's a possibility that Byleth may just not know, may just not know that he is like harboring the heart of a goddess inside of him right and i think that is actually a fairly good possibility and maybe that'll be a plot line that gets unlocked later or i don't know i could see them maybe not doing that because that's so different from three houses that they might i don't know people might be confused but i, I doubt it i think that's an interesting interesting way to go about it so ultimately all this really is is this the scenario is what would happen if byleth never met any of the students at the academy Never had an opportunity to, to affect their lives, and they didn't change him uh, for the better in any way. And he just kind of stuck on his mercenary path. Stuck on his mercenary path. You know, he's, he's emotionless, and doesn't... I, I, you, I don't know if you... You think he would have a moral compass of some kind, but maybe he breaks away from Geralt at some point, and just kind of falls in with, uh, with Twisted, and becomes... With those who slither in the dark, becomes a... Uh, kind of like their, their go-to mercenary hitman kind of person. Oh, and another thing, actually, I forgot to mention this earlier about inconsistencies. Byleth doesn't have the Sword of the Creator. Uh, after Byleth gets the Sword of the Creator in three houses, anytime they're pictured, that's the weapon they're using, right? Anytime that there's a cutscene and they have a weapon in their hand, that's it. But they don't have the Sword of the Creator in this game, in Three Hopes, from what we've seen at least. So, maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't even think I see it in the, uh, like... In like the promotional like poster art uh, I'm not going to look it up just to make sure I'm not wrong yes yeah yeah, yeah. and then like the promotional art where they're like clashing swords with Shez she is holding it looks like I don't, just some generic sword I, I can't really tell what it is but it's definitely not the sword of the creator so that's now uh, like an interesting interesting thought there all right so Bioth never goes to the Academy what, what does this do for the other characters in the story 
So you have, uh, I think the House Lords don't have the character growth that Byleth uh, kind of pushed on them or provided for them. And now Shez will fill this role, but it will take place, you know, however many years or months later than it normally would have. And I think that gives us uh, kind of like the, the, the worst possibilities for the start of the game, but then it ends up being better later on as the story goes. So I think the stories will go like a similar path to when Byleth didn't choose them. You know, D Dimitri uh, will kind of go the, the route of defending the church as he does in C Crimson Flower, prop, maybe. Anogard will continue her conquest, and Claude will still be more concerned with the affairs of Almira and, like, outside of Fodlin than, than desiring to change Fodlin to help Almira and the people outside of Fodlin. But again, I think this will all change very qu quickly once Shez steps into the picture. <laughs> I really do think that there is a possibility that Shez is just Byleth 2.0 for these characters in a more complete and probably in a more complete and interesting way too. Uh, who knows though? Those are just some like, some of my thoughts. I don't know. I thought I would just, I just typed down some notes and thought I would just kind of go off the cuff here. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that Byleth is going to just be just blatantly evil? Do you think Byleth is just going to be kind of like uncaring and maybe just to have the right influence from the students to help them become a, a better person? Uh, do you think they never went to the Academy? How different do you think the story is going to be from Three Houses? I'm really curious what y'all think on this. So please share in the comments. Also, please subscribe to the channel. If you're not, we're going to be talking more about Three Houses probably. And we'll also be playing some Three Houses while streaming and stuff, which has been good. And we are uh, playing Three Houses as a Magic only run, which has been interesting so far. We just started it, so you can still tune in and see, see that. I'll be streaming hopefully tonight. And yeah, please like the video as well. Thanks, guys.